Hey guys, welcome back. So, I got a couple of the new Kat Von D Everlasting Glimmer Veils and I thought I would try them out and do some swatches and different lip combinations with some of her liquid lipsticks as well. And I also want to try it on my eyes. I did do a liner look with it yesterday and that worked out well. So I wanna try it almost as like a glittery eyeshadow. So I think we're gonna start out with some eyeshadow first. I just want this to be like a casual, let's hang out, one-on-one, -on -one, get ready together kind of video. Hopefully it doesn't go too long. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna start out with my eyes first. We'll do one of my eyes together, I'll do the other side, and then we'll do some lip swatches with the Glimmer Veils that I have. I only bought two colors, I only have the blue, and that's in the shade Satellite. And then I got uh, Thunderstruck, which I think is also a really pretty versatile shade. And I kind of want to go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette today. And I'm just going to do like a super neutral eye. And I want to use uh, Thunderstruck as an eyeshadow and see how that works. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start out with the shade Candied Peaches, which is right here. It's just like a really pretty, slightly glittery peach tone eyeshadow. And I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush and just blend that out of my crease. Oh, and then while I'm blending, I was thinking about it. I really enjoyed Halloween last year and I feel like I had some pretty good ideas. I'm really proud of the work that I put out last year. Um, and I want to do some awesome Halloween looks again this year. So I want to know if you guys have anything in particular that you want to see. Please don't say Harley Quinn because I am so over that. But I'm sure you all too. There's literally like a million, literally a million tutorials out there for that. Um, I don't plan on filming all of them, but if there's like one in particular that you want me to film or something like that, I'm just really bad at like time management with my YouTube for now. So um, let me know if there's something that you really want to see like a video of or just looks in general that I can do. So I think I'm going to start out with the shade Puree, which is just this really nice warm brown shade. And I'm just going to start to build up a little bit of depth in the crease. I think I'm just going to go for a cut crease look today. And then I'll put uh, the liquid glimmer veil on the lid because I think that would be really pretty. So life update, I guess. I've never really like talked about my life on my YouTube channel because usually I do voiceover or I just talk about the makeup. But... I decided to apply to FITM, which is the Fashion Institute in Los Angeles, and I was accepted and I'm going in for marketing and merchandising. It's like beauty industry marketing and merchandising. And um, I'll be starting that program in October. And I guess like long-term goals, I'm looking to um, I guess long-term goals, I'm looking to like get into a um, makeup brand and do like their marketing or like social media page stuff, like work in corporate um, that way. Cause it's like, you're still gonna be really creative, but it's more on the marketing aspect. I do already have a background in psychology, which I feel like fits in really well with uh, marketing. So if any of you have been to FITM, I've already asked this on my Instagram page and like nobody has gone there that I know. Um, but if you have been there and want to share your experiences and tell me how it is, please comment down below or DM me because I would love to chat with somebody about it before I start school. I think my orientation is gonna be in September. Um, so I'm excited for that. Now I'm gonna go in with Summer Yum, which is like a ready brown shade. So I'm just gonna blend that in the crease as well, but I'm not gonna take it as high as I did with the first super peachy shade. And we're just gonna kinda darken this crease and keep building up the shades, the colors. I think I'm just gonna darken it up 
right along the bottom area right here with Charmed, I'm sure. And this is like a deeper brown sort of color. And then I'm gonna do a cut crease after this. Just trust the process, it'll look all right in the end. Now I'm going to use the NARS, what is this called? Soft Matte Creamy Concealer, no. Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I'm going to cut that crease. This is a Cosette brush number seven. This is like my favorite brush to use to do cut creases or clean up my eyebrows. It's just so nice. So just taking this on a flat brush. I might not talk in this moment because I get really concentrated doing a cut crease as well. This isn't the kind of thing that you can just casually do. Cut creases are serious business. So I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D. Let's see, get it up tight there. This is the Everlasting Glimmer Veil in the shade Thunderstruck. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on the back of my hand here. And I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I did my cut crease with, uh, just because I like how nice and flat it is and I like using that for liquids. And let's apply that to my lid and see how this works. Ooh. That is so sparkly. Hopefully, it, I mean, on the lips, it dries down and it sets really nicely and it doesn't crack or anything like that. So hopefully it works the same on the eyes. Now, mind you, I don't know if this is eye safe. I'm just doing it because I want to. But if you're concerned about that, maybe do a little research into it first. Okay, so here is the Thunderstruck Glimmer Veil on my eyelids. Um, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't think the camera, it doesn't look like in the viewfinder, like the camera's like really picking up how glittery it is. What I decided I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do my eyeliner, lashes, finish up my eye makeup look, just for the sake of time, because I do wanna get all those lip swatches in as well. And uh, I'll be right back once that's done and we'll jump into the lip swatches. All right guys, so I finished up my eye look. If you wanna know the details, I will post a photo of this look on my Instagram. And it's the same as my channel, it's Andy Doll. Hopefully you can see how glittery this looks. It is so pretty, I'm like obsessed with this. This is probably gonna be like my new favorite eyeshadow even though it's actually a lipstick. All right, so let's talk about how this Glimmer Veil is working for my eyes. Um, I just want to point out that the glitter hasn't really transferred up above my crease, which I feel like happens with a lot of glitter eyeshadows. Um, as you kind of blink and move your eyes around, it always inevitably ends up smudging up above your crease. And I haven't had any of that so far with the Glimmer Veil. It has dried down, so it's not coming off. Um, and it doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, I don't feel it on my eyes at all. It doesn't feel like there's like any thick glitter on there, I literally don't feel anything. So this is actually quite comfortable, quite gorgeous, I'm overall super impressed. Um, this just makes me want to buy all of them so I can use them as eyeshadows, they are so nice you guys. Okay, I'm really excited about it, if you can't tell. So let's go ahead and do the lip swatches. I know I just said that I was gonna do that. Let's do that. So first I wanna go in with the Everlasting Glimmer Veil in Thunderstruck, and I'm just gonna apply it by itself on my lips to see how that goes. Okay, so this is one 
wipe one layer of the Glimmer Veil in Thunderstruck on my lips. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So this is what it's looking like so far. It's just a little bit patchy, but I'm gonna do a second layer. I have two layers of it on my lips now. I will say I probably wouldn't wear this one on its own because I feel like at different angles you can see the coverage is like a little bit patchy, but it looks really nice from a distance. I wouldn't say it's like super flattering on my skin tone just by itself, but I think it is really pretty. So let me zoom you in. So I'm gonna take this off. I will do a different lip combo, but I'm still gonna use the Thunderstruck. I'm just gonna use a different combination of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. All right, so let's try Lolita and Thunderstruck together. So I'm gonna apply Lolita right now. Okay. So let's go in with the Kat Von D Glimmer Veil in Thunderstruck, and I'm just gonna go right over the top of it with the wand that it comes with. So here is Lolita with Thunderstruck on top. To be honest, I'm not completely obsessed with this combination either, but I do like it better than Thunderstruck on its own. It kind of looks like, like a brown metallic lipstick. I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit closer. Whew, my makeup's starting to look real patchy with all this take on, take off, right there, right there. Okay, what do I wanna do next? Yeah. It might look really pretty over like a pink. Let's do pink. Oh, and by the way, this shade is, I have no idea. I think it's Backstage Bambi, the sticker is gone, but. I have no idea how these YouTubers and makeup artists, um, when they do swatch videos, like apply the lipstick and not make weird faces and like move their lips around all crazy. I don't know how they do it because I always make the strangest faces. I'll probably crop most of them out, but I wish I had that kind of talent. I think it's like if you have really big lips, you can just kind of do it without moving your mouth, but I have to like roll out my lips. Okay. I think I'm just gonna take this time, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Glimmer Veil and I'm gonna pick it up with my finger and I'm just gonna dab it on and see how that goes. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm hmm this is it. Okay. I love this combination so much. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to get pictures of this. This is really pretty. I'm so happy with this. So I also want to say, I haven't like really talked about the, how the formula wears and how it feels. So the other day I did wear the Glimmer Veil in, which one is this? Satellite, which is the blue one. I'll do swatches of this one next. And I wore two layers of it on my lips all day at work talking to clients and um, it wore so comfortably. 
It dries kind of like a soft matte finish. It is transfer proof, so when I touch it, it doesn't wear off. It wore all day without touch-ups, and it didn't feel heavy on the lips. I was worried it would be like cracking or flaking or that the texture of like the glitter might be really uncomfortable, but it wasn't at all. It um, actually, in my opinion, is even more comfortable than the original Everlasting liquid lipsticks, which sometimes I find to be a little bit dry feeling, but I even forgot that I was wearing the lipstick while I was talking because it was just so comfortable. It feels like nothing is there. If you rub your lips together, you can feel like a little bit, like something's on there, but it doesn't feel, that would be like with any lipstick, it doesn't feel weird. It's like strangely soft and silky feeling, if that makes sense. It's really a unique formula. I haven't tried anything like it before, but I'm thoroughly impressed with them. I love them so far. So let me get some pictures of this. I'm going to take it off and then we will do satellite next and we'll layer it with some liquid lipsticks as well. Okay, so we are back. I actually took quite a bit of a break, so it's been like an hour since I cut from the last clip. I'm going to now do the Everlasting Glimmer Veil in the shade Satellite. And I did post a picture on my Instagram of this already by itself, but I'm going to do it on the video just to see how that looks because photos don't do this justice. Okay, so this is one coat. I feel like you could go with one coat on this one in particular. Um, it's just so pigmented, it's so pretty. But I'm gonna do two coats of it and then I'll zoom you in so you can really see it. I want that full opaque look. Okay, now this is two layers on my lips. It's very bold. This is not for the faint of heart, but it is so, so, so pretty. I can't stop saying that with these. These are just like on another level. Okay, let me zoom you in. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of stained my lip. The first time I wore this, it didn't, but I also washed my face properly. In between lips, I'm just using a micellar water, so maybe that's why it's not coming off as well. But now I have kind of gray, blue, dead looking lips, which is okay, because Halloween's like, you know, in like two months. So, I'm gonna use Love L-U-V, and I'm going to try that with the blue. I think that could be really pretty, so let's do that. you almost can't even tell. I'm wondering if I should, you know what, I'm gonna try the um, dotted on with my finger technique for this one and see how it works with this one. This one does look a little more pigmented and less glittery though, so we'll see how that works out. Ooh, that's so pretty. Here I go, saying that's so pretty, that's so pretty just changed my mind and I'm gonna use the wand because uh, my fingers aren't as precise. So this turned it into kind of more of like a deeper blue and it's kind of like purpley bluey looking in person. I think it would have been, um, like kept a little bit more of that purple color from the LUV, like the original shade, if you just dabbed it on. I really liked the way that looked, but I kind of started smudging blue on the outer corner of my mouth. So if you're a little more careful with it, I think it looks really nice just using your fingertips to dab on the product because it still keeps that original shade underneath and just adds like a little pop of um, glitter and color. Um, so I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see.
So that is my last swatch, you guys. If you do want to see some other combinations, just DM me or comment down below and uh, maybe I can send you like a picture or something or I'll post it to my Instagram so you can see that or I can just do swatches on my arms. Just let me know. There are so many awesome color combinations that I'm sure I'll end up doing some more and posting some pictures of those. So keep an eye out. Um, I did take pictures in between all of these lip looks except for this one because my makeup is just kind of getting super jank looking so yeah anyways that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it again let me know if you liked this more like personal i'm talking to you guys kind of thing or if you prefer the zoomed up makeup with a voiceover over the top of it um and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment down below leave some love some thumbs ups and don't forget to check out my instagram page until next time i'll see you guys later bye